Hey guys, got Theo here, and we are working on that weight with the front door. Um, I did leave a note saying that we're noticing that when we say the Q weight that he's trying to bolt for the door, we suspect that more often than not, um, when you're saying weight, you're leaving. Um, and so he's, he's, being, he's kind of afraid that he's going to get left behind. Um, so this is where you kind of want to reflect on what his motivators actually are in terms of um, in the moment. So we know that he enjoys going on walks for you. So weight is something really difficult um, because literally chances are that you're leaving. He doesn't get to go. So he's kind of taking his chances. Um, so right now what we're doing is we are working the triggers. And now he's looking away, which is really cool. So the triggers being the front door. Now Taylor is rewarding him for going through the door for finally getting his mind off of it. So earlier when we started this, he was so focused on the door, you know, he was trying to make a break for it, which as you saw, we actually closed up that entryway with two laundry hampers um, so that it was a little more manageable. So by all means, if you need to help yourself out so that you can improve his behavior, make that entryway um, just a little bit smaller so that you have a workable area. You'll notice that we were trying to get him to stay off of the tile. Last time we were here with backup, we wanted him to get off of the carpet, but these types of things will really help Theo um, really put those things together in terms of it's very literal. Okay, back up means I got to get away from the door and get off the carpet. And wait means I need to wait in a different room. Um, we, are, we know that the more distance that we increase from his triggers, the more likely he is to succeed and the easier it is for you to manage, uh, manage him. But again, showing you what we're doing, we close up that space, um, working that weight so that... Um, so that when he does get to go through the door, he really worked for it. You know, it was really a reward. But going through the front door is a reward. So we want to make sure that he doesn't, he no longer has the impulse to run okay. through Listen. it. He did earn a sniff. We've been doing this for a good 30 minutes already. So. We'll give him a second to sniff. Mm -hmm. He's been working that a bunch. Mm -hmm. How you got me all tangled up, sir? Okay, really cool. So Taylor's holding the tail teaser. So um, we just used it to lure him back inside. Um, like we said, we, we, he, we know that he really likes it. So we're making sure that we're using it as a training tool. If he has it all the time, it won't really work that well. Um, but that was very useful. We know he really enjoys being outside and we're going to let him go back out there in just a second, but we need to continue the exercise. So again, you see a smaller um, area. Taylor is able to manage that space a little bit easier instead of him trying to get past. Now he's resisting. Again, Taylor's not saying the word because when we said it, he would try to bolt. So we want to reintroduce this exercise without the verbal cue um, just to give him a chance to relearn it so that he doesn't think that it means you're leaving without him. And we love weight. You know, remember, it means that he can't just go forward. That's really that's really what's going on. Um, he's offering sit and that's great. But you see him trying to push past her right there. That is not what we want. Good boy. Good job. And he does not necessarily need any instruction with this. This is a problem-solving game, essentially. Uh -huh. So when he tries to get past, she's going to nope. block him. But if he tries to... All right, well, block him. He stays on the other side. So if he gets past you, don't overthink it. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, I don't want to use my body too often because with this, is, it will not work forever. So for him, I want to convince him instead, can you come over here? Now, he wants to get my leash, of course. Theo! What you got? It's a leaf. Now his favorite thing to do, as you know, can you touch? Can you give me a touch? Yes, good boy. Good job. Good job. He's negotiating a little bit, but ever does not matter to me. I'm going to ask him to touch anything I can to get on his side. In case he does get out. And then we're gonna try again. Yeah. No, no, sir. This time a whole block. Then you're not gonna do it again. You'll see. Don't you on me. Thank you. I'm trying to convince him that staying on this side really is his only option. And also him disengaging and trying to get past her is going to get him lots of rewards. And eventually we'll actually open the door. So pushing forward does not open the door to let him go out. Mm -hmm. Staying over there opens the door to let him yeah. go out. What's really key here is the reward. So I'm using a very, now I'm using again, a very high body treat called Vital, um, by Vital Pets. By Fresh Pets, I'm sorry. Um, it's a little pet call. It's one of the, it's like a meatball, chicken, salmon mixture. They sell it in the refrigerator, in the refrigerator section at Petco. Good boy. You're cute. Good job. Let me do it a few more times. So as I go over here, let's do their hand up. Good boy. I'll give them a treat for staying still. Really quickly. Good. When she does it this incremental, she's really just You're working on his job. triggers and releasing Good him job. quickly so that he's not Good getting frustrated. Good boy. He can go free when I act like him. He can go free. So that's just for today. 
He did really good. Um, Theo's becoming more and more engaged as we continue to train so often. So. Yes, the frequency of his training is really improving his engagement, um, which is really cool to see. Um, we often have to get very creative to get him to be playful, but we are finding that he's actually starting to lean towards um, – like typical training where he will just take the treats and be motivated and conditioned to take the treats. So that's really good to see that um, all of that is coming together and um, he's not really resisting it because he realizes that it is actually a fun and engaging exercise. So, all right guys, you guys keep up the good work. Um, definitely let us know when the next time you want to see us. All right. Bye.